In this video, we're going to talk about Roman numerals and how to convert them to decimals and vice versa using Excel. So let's select the drawn function first. And let's use a different color. So let's go over the basics. You need to know that I corresponds to 1, V corresponds to 5, and X in the Roman numeral system corresponds to 10 in the decimal system. So VI, that's 5 plus 1, which is 6. But in reverse order, IV, that's 5 minus 1, which is 4. And so those are some basic things that you want to know when dealing with the Roman numeral system. So let's say if we have X, V, I. X is 10, V is 5. I is 1. So this is going to add up to 16. So how can we convert the number 16 into Roman numerals? So here's what you need to do. Type in equal and then Roman and then 16. And make sure the 16 is within a set of parentheses. And notice what it gives you, x, v, i. And so that's a simple way in which you can convert a decimal number into a Roman numeral. Now let's say, for example, if we want a large number, let's say 37. So that would be x, 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 v, i, i. Now what about 50? 50 is just L. 100 is C, which is, if you think of a century, that's 100 years. 500 is D. 1,000 is M. If you think of a millennium, that corresponds to 1,000 years. So let's say if we want to convert the year 1875 and represent that as a Roman numeral. That would be M D C C C L X X V. So M is a thousand, D is five hundred, that's fifteen hundred, C is a hundred, so we have three C's, fifteen hundred plus three hundred, that's eighteen hundred, and then a fifty, so eighteen fifty, two X's, that's ten plus twenty, I mean excuse me, ten plus ten, which is twenty. So 1870 and then V for 5. So that gives us, as you can see here, 1875. Now what about going backwards? Let's say if we have a Roman numeral value and we want to convert it into a decimal value. So let's start with XVI. What you need to do is write an equal and then Arabic parentheses. Now we need to write a text, so let's use quotations and then type in XVI and then close it and then close the parentheses so that'll give you 16 now let's do the same for this one I'm gonna put it down here so equal Arabic and then XXXVII and close the quotations so as you can see this is 37 now for this one equal Arabic and then put the L in quotations close parentheses so L is 50 C is 100 and then D is 500 M is a thousand and so that's how you can go backwards from a Roman numeral into a decimal. So let's use a, a larger example. So let's say if we have M D C L X X V I I. So that would be 1677. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to convert a Roman numeral into a decimal using Excel and you also know how to go backwards going from a decimal uh, to a Roman numeral. And so that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.